Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a Halloween DIY. So for this, I took all three of these signs that they had. I actually wanted these and I really don't like the way they did this. How the G intertwines into this B. I think it looks really shitty and like, yeah, I know you're only spending a dollar on it, but I mean, come on, you could have lowered that and this and then they wouldn't touch. And I didn't like all the glitter. So anyways, I'm using these for a DIY. I'm not leaving them how they are. This one I didn't mind because it's not glitter. It's just painted in gold. And that one was cute. This one had way too much. And again, the words were touching, so it really bugged me. Um, so I took the stems out. They came out really easy. I just twisted it and it popped right out. I took the raffia bow off. I sanded both sides and I took the stickers off because I am going to be painting the back of these because... Of where I'm gonna be placing them when I decorate for Halloween you'll be able to see the back because right here um, it's kind of like a mirror and I don't want you to see this ugly part so I'll probably just paint it solid one color or I might do the same thing so I kind of lost the video on me sanding it but I just took a sanding block from Dollar Tree and sand the front of it took the labels off ripped off the raffia bows took out the stems I'm gonna be using Waverly chalk paint in white maize and pumpkin and by the colors you can probably figure out what I'm doing so we're gonna start with the white and I'm gonna paint the whole entire thing white so that way I don't have to do a ton of coats of the yellow and the orange so I'm gonna cover all three of these completely all the sides the back sorry about that my daughter was being really loud um, so I'm gonna paint the front and back and the sides probably do two or three coats I'll see how many coats so I'm gonna do that and with my white paint so I'm gonna cover all three of them completely and once they're completely covered with as many coats as I need then I will come back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next Hey guys, so I'm finally going to finish this Halloween DIY. It's been sitting over there for so long because I started it, I, f I started painting it, and then I had to put it on hold so I could do my wreath. Then I didn't like the way my wreath came out, so I made another wreath. And then I made a wreath for my sister, and then I've been making all these things, and I just... I just need to stop. <laughs> I'm running out of space for all these signs. Um... So I did two coats on each one of these blocks, front and back, and the sides. Um, I guess I didn't have to do it on all of it, but I just wanted to make sure it was nice and even. I mean, I might be using these, I don't know for sure, but I have these. You get 370. They're just the black letters and all uppercase. I'm going to be using the maize color yellow and the Waverly chalk and then the paint pumpkin color sorry and then I'm gonna be using painters tape I think that's what it's called right I don't know I didn't know I had this it was in my husband's toolbox so I'm gonna cut a piece and I have no idea oh, crap. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not really going to, I might have to measure this so that way I can make sure that each sign is exactly the same. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be right back. I need to get a measuring tape and I'll place all my tape and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how far apart each piece of tape is and then that way you guys can that way you guys will know so let me do that and I'll be right back okay so I didn't use a measuring tape sorry I don't have one I don't know where my husband put it so all I did was I laid the first one down to where the little ridges are right here because I don't need as much white as I do for the other two colors so then I, I just did one and then I just laid this next to it, lined it up, and then laid the tape across, and then I did wrap it. 
so that way the paint doesn't leak down on the sides. So if you haven't figured out what I'm doing yet, I'm making these to look like candy corn. So we're gonna start with the orange. And I'm not gonna get the back of the sign. I'm gonna leave it solid white. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna do the sides yet. I haven't decided. So we will just see how it turns out. And if I need to, then I can paint the sides. I probably will just so that way if it's standing up, you can see the sides and it's not all white. So I'll do the sides and the front, but I'm not gonna paint the back. I'm gonna just leave it all white. So I'm going to do this on each one and I'm probably going to do two coats and then I will come back once I have all the orange and all the yellow and it's completely dry and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Okay you guys, so I ripped the tape off and I realized that you don't want to do the two blue pieces of tape like I did that because when I removed that bottom one there was so it was white orange white yellow so you want to wait till the top you want to wait till the orange dries and then put a piece of blue tape upward from the bottom of the orange and then go ahead and do the bottom do you get what I'm saying so like you can do the top one once the orange and the white are dry, then take another piece of the painter's tape and tape it to the bottom of the orange like this and then go ahead and do the yellow because you can see the line. So I went, I went back over and added more orange. So I have all three of them. They're all done. They look like little candy corns. And I did save the stems and the raffia bows that were on top, but I don't want to use them, but I'm going to save them for like future DIYs or if I ever want to do something. You just never know. So I saved the little stems and I saved the raffia bows. I was going to just hot glue the bows back on top because you'll be able to see that hole. I was gonna kinda like glue it or put a toothpick and then, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to find something to cover those holes with. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and finish this. So I'm gonna take these letters and I'm gonna write trick or treat with the letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back once I have all my letters down. I am gonna mod podge them down so that way they'll stick. And I'm going to do it on, I'll show you guys, but I'm going to lay my letters out so that way I may, I know how I want them. And then before I Mod Podge it, I will come back and I will show you how I'm going to Mod Podge my stickers down. Okay, so I want to do it like this. And then the middle one is going to be straight. Obviously, it's not going to be right there. I'll make sure it's right in the middle. And then another one's going to be like that. So I have this really, really thin paintbrush my Mod Podge and what I'm gonna do I used a knife you can use a pair of tweezers or I just have a really thin knife so I was able to use that to get the letters off without ripping them so they stick but I don't want to place Mod Podge over the word or the letters because it gives it a glossy look. And I don't want there to be just like one streak of Mod Podge, if you get what I'm saying. So. Sorry, I'm just going to like re plate like refix this real fast
so I'm kind of doing it like that. I don't know. So I'll just show you how I Mod Podge it. Just gonna put it right over the letter. Well, not over it, on the back of it. And then I'm gonna place it on the block. And I'm gonna use my knife to help me so that that way it's straight. So then as I pushed it down, Mod Podge came out of it from underneath it, which is fine. You can just dab it with a towel. So the T stays like that. So I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'll come back and I will show you what the, what it looks like with all of them as my final piece. All right, you guys. So here they are. The letters stuck on perfectly. I love that I didn't have to streak it across the whole word. And if it starts to lift up, I can just take a knife, lift it up a little bit, add a little extra Mod Podge and stick it right back down. So I still don't know what I'm going to do about these holes. I tried even um, making a tiny little bow with jute twine and it just looked really weird. So I still don't know. I just wish there wasn't a hole. So I'm going to see if I can get some like wood filler, whatever that stuff is called. And then I can just put some white um, chalk paint. But if you guys are going to do this, what I would recommend if you don't want that hole is do it this way. Do it upside down. So do this part yellow, orange, this part white. So that way if they stand up straight, you don't see the holes. I didn't think about that until now. So like I said, I'm going to have to find something to do to get that hole covered up. So if you're like me and you don't want that hole and you don't want to put twine or a bow or anything like that because it takes away from the Halloween vibe of this and candy corn vibe of this, then just do it this way instead. But anyways, I love how it came out. I I didn't think it was going to come out this great. It's not even showing up that great on camera. Um, but I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to start decorating for Halloween. Sorry I was rambling, but if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.